Kenobi here, only one, and first and foremost, happy May the 4th, the unofficial Star Wars day. This is the May. This is the May the 4th be with you. you see what I did there? Huh? <laughs> anyway, I've actually just got in, really, and I've just watched the live stream that was earlier. It was, uh, yeah, I'm about three or four, two or three hours late for, for the, you know, seeing it, because I was in work and all that, couldn't get away. Uh, I'm going to cut in a minute and give you my thoughts on that, but, you know, there was a couple of things just off the top of my head. Didn't really blow me away, that stream. And I'm a bit all over the place anyway, what with this talk of bubble gate and all of that, you know, TVC losing the bubble potentially and all that. And there's a couple of things I saw and I'm scratching my head and I'm thinking, you know, one thing that really annoyed me was the, you know, I saw that they were making this, um, what's it called? The Force Unleashed Stormtrooper, whatever he's called. That, that was great. And then I saw that they're going to do it on a, a Force Unleashed card. And I'm thinking, well, why would you do that? You've already got Force these figures on a Star Wars card. What are you going to do? Bring out one more like that and then scrap the bubble and then there's only one card on his own? Unless you're not going to scrap the bubble for TVC. I don't know, man. It just, it just annoyed me a little bit. And also, I'd said a while ago, I'm not saying that I'm kind of a font of all knowledge, but I, you know, someone asked me on my show, only one fans, a little plug for you. They said, what do you reckon they could do for these troop building packs? And I said, well, you know, phase one clone. I never for the life of me thought that they would put him in there with with them. I mean, would it would it take much more effort for them to paint him yellow or or red? You know, given we've already had him blue, you know, that is the, that's the way I think anyway. I don't know what you think about that, but I just thought, come on. Ridiculous. That's just really lazy. Um Sorry about this, there's a bit of a rant there. What else crossed my mind? Because again, you know, I've just watched it. I've taken some screen grabs. I might cut in a minute, and go through some of the images for you. But um, that was it. I didn't like the Jedi Fallen Order card either, given we've already had some Star Wars Chase Fallen Order card backs. But, you know, I love this molten this sculpt, you know. The VC 140, is it 145? I can never remember the numbers, but still, that's great that they are using that, which is great. But um, I don't know, man. Overall... That was all I can remember for now. So I'm going to cut in a minute now and I'm going to go through all the images and we can talk some more. But anyway, I just wanted to say hello. And yeah, I've just got some posts actually. I might open that by the end. In fact, I might do that right now. Aha, I've just opened it. And speaking of troop building packs, it's this, these guys. So I'll open that and review that in another video. I wonder if they've packed anything else in here. No, just that. <laughs> okay, I'm expecting a lot more from Hasbro Pulse, but still, there you are. There's that. So there's obviously going to be more of these come in. Awesome, right, let's go and show you some more of the images from this Hasbro Pulse May the 4th Fan First Wednesday live stream. Boom. Alrighty, I might as well go in backwards order. This is the last thing I saw that it was of interest to me. The Black Series uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi lightsaber. I don't really go into lightsabers very much. I've got the Episode 4 removable hilt Luke Skywalker one, which was the... Not Master Replicas, it was the Hasbro Signature Series, I think, or something like that. You know, before the Black Series got their hands on that kind of line of collectible. But that I will get because it's removable hilt, fantastic, brilliant. You know, there was a period when you couldn't remove the hilts with the, like, Kylo's, the Kylo Ren era around then. But still, that's awesome. Love that. It apparently matches up with the show that's coming up too. It's really good, that. Really good. Like that. So, going backwards, these are what I was just talking about. The Jedi Fallen Order thing, so... You know, it just worries me the fact that that could be potentially the only, well, maybe not so much for that, but they just, they just brought out loads of Force Awakens characters, Force Awakens, Force Unleashed characters. So they, you know, the fact that they're now putting it on that, that was always my worry with the vintage collection. There's potentially loads of badges, emblems that you could have on these cards. But what I liked about the Star Wars one was, you know, they had the Star Wars chase card, whatever, and then they'd have a little sticker down at the bottom, just above the Kenner badge where they'd show you what film or property it was from. I think they should have just done that because otherwise you're going to have a lot of miscellaneity. That isn't even a word. Miscellaneous cards, you know what I mean? Miscellaneality? Oh, good God. I think I've just spit on... Uh, there you go. There's the card back again there. I just think that... Yeah, I don't know, man. But still, great figure. You can't knock it for that. It's brilliant. You can't knock the figure is what I mean to say. Um, all right, spin on. There's a better image there. There you go. It looks a bit wide there, doesn't he? Maybe it's the pauldron. Heavy Assault Stormtrooper. And then there's this. I do love this character, and I think it's definitely warranted to, to put it on the new sculpt. But, yeah, there's the Force Unleashed card back. I wonder if you're going to get any more. I mean, 
potentially they could bring out loads of characters like, you know, what's she called? Maris Brood and all those people. But, you know, I was under the impression they were going to be ditching the bubbles. But maybe that's just hearsay. I just don't know. Well, it's not hearsay. They've actually said that they're going to get rid of the plastic in the packaging. But hopefully TVC will survive that call and last. But I just don't know what the news is on that. I don't know if they even mentioned it. I've just sort of skimmed through the live stream because I was pushed for time. But that's a brilliant figure, that. And then Anakin Skywalker. Yes, yes, yes. I always used to say that the uh, image they should use of him should be that one shot when he's about to slice the Tusken Raiders. When he's outside the Tuscan hut, and I can't work out if that's what they've done there. That kind of looks like it, but the image I wanted was the bit just when he sort of like was pulling back with the saber. That looks like that's been manipulated. That yes, he's got a lightsaber in his hand, but that's clearly been photoshopped. But that looks like a Tuscan hut there, which is nice. But you know, it's all right. I prefer really for him. I don't know why, but I'd sooner a blue name pill. There he is, and I'm glad to see that they have. Oh, I didn't screen grab it. There was another image of him with the with the cloak on it, but it was very Revenge of the Sith. Um, very dark. It's almost black. I don't remember it being that dark, but still, um, that's the figure. Looks good. And then there's this guy. Didn't really interest me, this one. The uh, Mandalorian Super Commando. Don't like that card, really, as much as the other one. I'll talk about that in a minute. But there's Emily there. And Emily, as I say, I was not impressed with the blue guy in the four pack. I thought you should have gone for yellow or red or something. Anyway, there he is. Good figure. Let's spin on here, man. You, I mean, you can, you know, it's not much. Right. This is interesting. This one. I love Ahsoka Tano a lot, but I've never really been a fan of these guys. I just thought they were just a bit like the same problem I had with the Darth Maul guys. You know, those Mandalorians with the Darth Maul horns in their head to make their armor look like Ahsoka just never really floated my boat, really. You either 501st or not at all. And the fact that they're doing this is an homage to her. It's just, I don't know. I just thought, it, I didn't, didn't float my boat. But I did like this card back. I thought this was cool. Um, I know Tim likes these guys, whatever they're called. The 332nd Ahsoka's clone troopers, you know. I mean, I don't know, man. It's like idolizing a Jedi like that. Would they do that? I don't know. So there you are, we've got him now. And here we have the four pack, I've already mentioned them. Again, this should have been a different color. It should have been yellow or something. That's all I got to say about that. More than one screen grab there. So there you go, four packs. Zero plastic there, that's for darn sure. And I'm just, as I say, I'm just flicking through some screen grabs I did. This was the first thing I announced, I think. But that'd be good. I mean, I've got plenty of these already. Myself, just talking for myself there. But, you know, if you want to army build them, that's fair enough. But still, yeah, they started with this. And I can't work it out if these are coming in loose like these. If this thing here, this Kenner nod, is going to be like these packs here. I think it's slightly bigger. They were showing the original wave as well in the in the show. They were showing the, uh, the, you know, the cards with the bubbles, right? In my head, probably because I'm thinking about bubble gate and the fact that they're trying to get rid of the plastic i figured that they were just gonna they were just gonna pack these figures in loose but maybe potentially that is a bigger box than the other one maybe they were going to put them in carded like that and it's just a display box i don't know let me know i do apologize i didn't get the full gist of that but there you are and then that was it it started with the retro collection and then that is all i can really show you so anyway let me know your thoughts i do apologize i do i'm quite aware that i've been ranting and raving about that it's just it didn't really do it for me at all, really. I just can't believe it, you know. We are absolutely desperate to get hold of these vital characters that should be vital characters that should be on a bubble. Given that this is limited time and we're getting things like that and this, I just I just think it's ludicrous criminal. Anyway, let me know your thoughts below. Thank you very much for watching and listening. I have been only one Kenobi. If you are new around here, subscribe. Tap the notification bell for regular uh, regular uploads that are usually at 8 p.m. UK time and also a sh weekly show at 9 p.m. Mondays. Only one fans where we dive into some questions and answers and all sorts of things with my viewers, if that makes sense. Check it out. I'll leave a link to that as well in the description. This has been only one Kenobi. Only one. Out.